Okay, we're ready. I can see my pot is nice and hot. We're gonna add about a quarter cup of olive oil. And then we're gonna brown our sausage. So we're gonna brown all the sides of our sausage. We're gonna take it out, then we're gonna saute all the veggies, but first we need to brown all the sides. Okay, once the sausage is all nice and brown, we're gonna take it out. We're not gonna clean the bottom of the pan because that's not burned, those are flavor bits. That's gonna be infused in the sauce. Okay, now our heat's back on. Pot's getting hot, but before this does burn, we're gonna start with our onions. Now we're gonna sweat the onion, and then we're gonna deglaze this, all these good bits, with the red wine. Okay, now we're gonna deglaze red wine. You could use any red wine that you have in your house. It does not really matter for this. We have our red wine reducing. I'm gonna add some herbs. Here I have oregano and dried marjoram. Now we're gonna add our garlic and our mushrooms at the same time. The mushrooms are gonna absorb a lot of the wine and then they're gonna release the liquid back into the sauce. Now it's only been a couple minutes, but now we're gonna add our basil and red bell peppers. You can also use green, uh, green bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, does not matter, or a mixture of all three. Okay, now after we sweat the peppers, in about five or six minutes, the sausage is gonna join the party again. Give it a stir, and now we're gonna add our tomato sauce. One of our final steps before we let it slow cook for a little while is our tomato passata or tomato puree. So now I filled up the measuring cup with water to get everything out. We're gonna give it a stir. If it's still too thick, you can add a little bit more water and then cover it on low heat for about 45 minutes or to your desired uh, taste of how crunchy you want your vegetables. If you want them very soft, you don't have to wait that long. I like to let the flavor develop for at least an hour. I've added a little bit more water. I added a little salt and pepper when you weren't looking. And now I'm going to put the lid on, lower to low heat, and in about 45 minutes to an hour, it's ready to eat.